Grow Safe, Grow Ventive and Inspiray 99. How they work, what they're used for. Make sure to give yourself a really, really good thorough application on your plants. You purchase them together and use them together year round. Welcome to today's video. If you are new to this channel, hi, my name is Rachel and I run my own business here in Auckland, New Zealand called Growing Green where we sell houseplants and houseplant related supplies. And this is our YouTube channel where we make videos all about houseplants. We do houseplant tutorials, we do houseplant product tutorials, and we also do small business behind the scenes videos of our business and the trips and events that we attend. So if that sounds like something you might be interested in, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and obviously the big thumbs up on this video if you do enjoy this video at the end as well. So let's just get straight on into today's video. Today's video, as you have already seen by the title, is about a combination of grow safe products that every houseplant lover should have in their houseplant care collection. And those two products are Grow Safe Growventive and Inspray 99. So if you didn't know who Grow Safe is, they are a locally owned and operated business here in New Zealand and they supply products to the horticulture sector. Growventive and Inspray 99 are probably two of the most recognizable products from their range as houseplant lovers all over the country love it and absolutely trust it for their pest control needs. So in today's video, we're going to be diving into both products individually, how they work, what they're used for, and also how you can use them in combination as the ultimate pest control combo. So the first product out of the two that I'm going to be talking to you about is Inspray 99. So Inspray 99 comes in three different sizes. It comes in a 200ml and a 500ml and also a 300ml ready to use spray. Now I always highly recommend picking up the ready to use spray first because once the 300ml is empty you can then pick up the concentrate which is obviously a little bit more economical and you can refill your spray bottle. Another reason I recommend picking up the ready to use is the fact that if you use this with a bottle that has had other chemicals or other sprays in it it might not react so well no matter how good you clean it so I always recommend having a separate bottle for every different kind of spray. First of all what is Inspray 99? Inspray 99 is an organic spraying oil used to control pests and fungicides such as powdery mildew, mealybugs, spider mite, scale, aphids and more. Inspray 99 is a contact killer which means it will kill the pests once it has made contact with them. It works by inhibiting eggs, nymphs and adults insects from breathing as it smothers them and that results in suffocation. As it does only work on direct contact with bugs it is highly recommended that you obviously give it a real thorough application. It also doubles as a fungicide like I said a little bit earlier so it also works on things like powdery mildew or rust. And Inspray 99 is a really really pure spraying oil with around about 1% impurity and these impurities are often what causes damage to your plant's leaves. If you've ever used another kind of spraying oil and you found that not only does it get rid of bugs but it also like harms your plant a little bit this one is so pure that it will not do that. Which is why Inspray 99 has been such a favorite among hobbyists for many, many years. So how is it used? Let me show you. So if you've picked yourself up a bottle of the 300 ml ready to use, obviously all you need to do is spray. Like I said before, make sure to give yourself a really, really good thorough application on your plants. As this is a contact killer, it does need to make contact with all those pests to work effectively. If you've picked up the concentrate, you're obviously going to need to mix this yourself and the ratio is 5 mil to 200 ml of water. So once you've added the two together, mix it really well and then obviously pop it into your sprayer and spray it on. I highly recommend you use this product and of course grow ventive in an extremely well ventilated area or even outside if you can just to prevent yourself from inhaling it because it's really not good for your lungs. So so make sure to do it in a well ventilated area or outside. Another quick fact is that this is considered safe for bees and other beneficial insects so it is safe to be used on outside plants as well. So the next product we're going to be talking about is Groventive. Now Groventive is also a pest control product but it works in a slightly different way than the Inspray 99. So where Inspray 99 it was a contact killer, Groventive is actually a two-way systemic insecticide that helps to control sucking and chewing pests both above the ground and below the soil level. Now these pests also include mealybugs, aphids, scale, and so on, all the nasties that we don't want on our plant. So if you're wondering what two-way systemic means, two-way systemic means that once it is applied to your plant, it's actually absorbed into your plant's tissue. And this is then passed around the plant, so whenever those bugs chew or suck on your plant, they actually ingest it and die. Now this is a really really smart one to have on hand because not only does it control the pests that you can see but it also will kill the pests that you can't see including those pesky bugs such as root mealy or just any bugs that you may have missed with the Inspray 99 which means that the product does not have to have direct contact with every single bug on your plant which can make it a really really effective preventative. And by two-way systemic insecticide we mean it works both ways by being absorbed through your leaves and working its way down to the roots and it can also be absorbed by the plant's roots and work 
work its way up to the leaves. So not only can it be used to control current bug infestations, it is a perfect preventative measure as well. So the next question is how to use Groventive and it's exactly the same with Inspray 99. All you're going to do is mix it as per instructions on the back of the bottle. In this case it's 10 ml per liter of water. Mix it in, shake it really well and then obviously spray your plants with it. Now this one you don't have to get quite as thorough of an application because obviously it is systemic. However we do recommend that you give your plants a really really good spray to start. So when you first start using Groventive I highly recommend you use it once every 14 days. So as soon as you get it home spray your collection then wait 14 days, spray your collection again, and then you can start using it every 28 days as a preventative measure. Another quick thing I thought I would mention is that when you are using Groventive, it may leave a slight white sheen on your leaves afterwards. It's okay, it's totally normal. Again, it's not gonna hurt your plants. All you need to do is to wipe it off in a few days time once the Groventive has had time to absorb into your plant, and then you'll be good to go. So now that I've talked about each product individually, hopefully it's easy for you to see why you should absolutely purchase them together and use them together year round. Inspray 99 is the contact killer that will help you get in control of any pest infestation that you currently have and Groventive is a two-way systemic insecticide that will act as a preventative to help keep those away. And that is all for today's video. I hope this video was a really good explanation on how to use both products and how to use them together. Even though you might not have a current pest infestation and think you're safe, I highly recommend picking up both products as soon as possible and actually having them in your house plant care collection before you need them because pest control is definitely something you don't even want to wait a week for or a few days you want to have it on hand right now ready to go for when those unexpected pests strike i hope you enjoyed this short video explanation on each product how they work how they're used and what their benefits are and if you do have any more questions don't hesitate to send us a message or an email leave it in the comment section down below or send us a dm on instagram or facebook it is anywhere you can get in contact with us yeah i really hope you enjoyed today's video i hope it was informative and i hope you learned something new if you did enjoy this video we would really love for you to consider subscribing to the channel so we can make more videos like this and help you guys to have your house plants not just survive but to thrive thank you so much for watching and we will see you in our next video bye